What's up? Chris Lane, good morning. Good morning to you. How are you? Great. Uh, first of all, thank you for taking the time, because uh, any chance I have uh, to talk to someone I haven't spoken to before, I always look forward to it. So this is pretty exciting for me. Heck yeah, man. Thank you for taking the time. Absolutely. All right. So congrats on the new EP from where I'm sipping. Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate that. So freaking excited to have uh, five brand new songs out in the world. It's been a hot minute for me um, since I've released a project. So uh, it's a very exciting day. Yeah. And find another bar uh, spinning it right now on KFDI. I love it. I uh, love all the. Heck yeah. Thank you for that. I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. Love all the twists and turns in that song. Good stuff. How's the family? Everyone good? Everybody's great, man. Um, Dutton turned two this summer, and Baker uh, just turned one two days ago. So, obviously, we are still very much in the thick of things and uh, grinding it out. But uh, it's been amazing. Yeah, you, you uh, did you do the smash cake party? I mean, did you let him just go at it? We let him go at it. Um, he was a little confused at what was happening. People singing "Happy Birthday." He he uh, started crying in the midst of that. <laughs> it was, it was oh, poor dude, poor dude. <laughs> um, about a about a year ago, my my granddaughter just had her one uh, her first birthday, and she did the smash cake party and totally overwhelmed by everybody who was there. Didn't know what was going on. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I, uh, I, sometimes they have trouble regulating their emotions that and, young, right? And you guys just did something really important. You settled on a, a middle name, and I say that's important because we all know as as kids you know past kids and now parents the middle name's important when you're going to call that kid out when they're in trouble right i mean you now can say baker <laughs> west you know <laughs> yeah absolutely uh you know our our son dutton could never say weston for some reason I, I don't even know why he was saying the middle name but he always uh, uh called baker baker west huh okay and lauren was like wait i actually like baker west better than i liked baker weston so she i had no idea we were even doing this um and she told me to jump in the car. I had to go sign a paper and be there for it. But uh, I learned on the spot what was happening. <laughs> you, just, you just say yes. You just yep, say yes. Absolutely. Uh, now, here's the follow-up question to that. Did you, can you remember something you got in a lot of trouble for with your parents where they yelled at you, Christopher Eric Lane? Oh, yeah. We shot, my brother and I, I can specifically remember this like it was yesterday, but uh, we had just first gotten our, our first BB guns together, and we shot the next-door neighbor's uh, they had a plastic mailbox, oh. and we put about 900 holes in that thing. Didn't even realize what we were doing in the moment. But, yeah, my parents were very upset at us. <laughs> well, had to buy a new mailbox. Uh, that's fa- at least you didn't shoot your eye out. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. You just mentioned you, you just mentioned your twin brother, Corey. Uh, you guys ever pull prank, pranks as twins? Uh, yeah. You know what? In the fourth grade, we definitely tried to switch classes. Um and got caught, you know, kids tell on you, tell on you. they're like, oh, oh that's not Chris or Corey, whatever. Um, so that that didn't really work out for us. But, you know, I feel like it kind of plays to this day. You know, and my brother will go out after shows, um, and I'll get tagged in hundreds of photos oh. a night saying, <laughs> hanging with Chris Lane, but it's always a picture with him. That's fantastic. And in fourth grade, you can't lean into the kids who are telling on you and go, hey, look, snitches get stitches. <laughs> that's, true. That's, true. That's, a, that's, that's a bad look in fourth grade <laughs> yeah. so, so over on tiktok i watched your uh your pre-save putt um uh, and uh, I, I gotta ask has your has your putting game has your golf game gotten any better my golf game has suffered a little bit with uh the kids being so young you know the only golf i get to play is out on the road uh for the most part i come in off the road and uh I don't even I don't even ask anymore. Yeah. Um, you know, I just pay pay the cl- country club membership, but uh, don't get to play. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, if it's got clown heads, if it's got clown heads and windmills, that's my speed. But if you ever, ah, there you go. If you ever came to town to play golf, I could caddy for you. How's that? <laughs> there you go. All right. So on the on like the new that. on the new EP from where I'm sipping, some of the vibe is you know breakup vibes, uh, and with exes, it's it's kind of a it's kind of a choice. You got a choice here. If your ex has given you something, do you give it back? Have, or do you throw it away? Can you think of a past relationship in that situation? Um, I can't in particular, but uh, if they wanted it back, I would happily give it back. And uh, if they didn't, I would definitely throw it away so I didn't have to see it. Yeah. <laughs> Unless <laughs> it had some value, I'd probably sell it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you see, now that's a good look. I'm always a throwaway guy. I never thought to hang on to it and check its value on like eBay or something. That's right. All yeah. Right. Story story goes, uh, you saw Keith Urban in concert, got hooked, asked your parents for a guitar. Did they ever like try to steer you in a different direction when you said, I want to be a country singer? Um, no, they, they honestly never did. You know, I, I went back to college for an extra semester. I just had to have one class to graduate. So in, in that half year, um, in the fall and, uh, you know, I played college baseball and for the first time, uh, I wasn't 
for that half semester, um, I was done with baseball okay. and had so much free time. So that's when I learned how to play the guitar. So by the time I, I gra- graduated and moved back home to Kernersville, North Carolina, where I was from, um, I already kind of knew how to play the guitar a little bit, and then I started figuring out how to sing and play at the same time. And um, yeah, I drove my parents crazy a little bit because <laughs> I sucked for for so long, but. Um, they were always super supportive and, and uh, still are oh, that's good. to this day. I love that. Uh, North Carolina, one of my favorite places on earth, the Outer Banks. Uh, just oh, yeah. So many good love memories. The Outer Bank. Yeah, for sure. All right, so uh, again, the new EP from Where I'm Sipping, the new single you can hear on KFDI is Find Another Bar. Uh, that's what you're currently focused on. Let's look a year or two down the road. Like, what you got cooking for the future, Chris? Man, uh, out of the five songs that I'm releasing uh, right now, I definitely have uh, a couple that I lean on a little bit. Uh, one of those, Mistake. Um, I feel like the song has the makings of potentially, uh, and, and hopefully I say this with my fingers crossed, but um, I, I feel like it could really be a great song for me um, and and possibly one of the biggest of my careers. And, and I say that because I put this song out, just the demo of it, a little clip uh, to the chorus a couple years ago, and the response was, the biggest I've ever had throughout my entire career of any song that I had actually released okay. up to that point. Um, and I'm a writer on it and just super proud of it. And I feel like it's clever, uh, clever writing right. and, and hopefully people react in the way that they did uh, years ago. when I posted a clip of that song, nice. finally, well, uh, you, you know, just pumped to finally have that one out. Well, let's will that to happen for sure. A couple of quick let's questions go. before we go, uh, just to kind of find out a little bit about you, uh, Halloween movies or Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm more of a Hallmark Christmas movie. Uh, all right, nothing wrong with that. And it's not Thanksgiving until this food is on the table. Uh, pumpkin pie. Oh, yeah. Whipped cream or no? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right, very good. Uh, Chris Lane, hey, listen, uh, much success to you. That song, Mistake, is going to blow up. I'm going to make it. I'm going to will that to happen, my friend. Let's go. All right. <laughs> uh, and uh, continued success. Look forward to uh, watching Find Another Bar, Climb the Charts, and more singles from you off the new EP. Heck, yeah. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.